23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Melissa Florence. And I'm Byron Wang. Here are some of the stories we're following today. It's been nearly one month since the city manager of McFarland, John Wooner, was reported missing at a cemetery right here in Bakersfield. Bakersfield police say 57-year-old Wooner was last seen on Tuesday, May 14th. Investigators have not confirmed whether foul play is suspected, but they are calling the situation suspicious. Wooner is about 6 feet tall, 300 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. He was last seen uh, driving a city vehicle, a silver Dodge Durango, which did not have GPS in it. Uh, if you have seen Wooner or know where he is, call BPD at 661-327-7111. Two men riding an inflatable pool toy were rescued from the Kern River this weekend after they fell out in rough waters. The Kern County Sheriff's Office posted these pictures on their Instagram page of the rescue, which happened near the Sandy Flat campground on Sunday evening. Search and rescue crews say the men got into the river in a toy that resembles a raft and fell out into the rushing water. One of the men was found clinging to a tree branch while the other was swept away and found downstream. Both men received bumps and scratches, but no serious injuries. Mimi's Cafe has been shuttered in southwest Bakersfield for years, and this morning the former restaurant was demolished to make way for a second Raising Cane's location. Mimi's Cafe, which sits on California Avenue, closed down back in 2017. City officials say Raising Cane's will soon be occupying the space left behind by Mimi's, but the restaurant is still waiting for approval. The health department has already given their go-ahead, and it is unknown at this time when the new Raising Cane's would begin construction or be open for business. Widespread triple digits are expected again tomorrow here in the Valley. 104 expected in Bakersfield, so slightly cooler compared to what we experienced today. 96 at the Grapevine tomorrow, 89 into Hatchapi, 84 in Lake Isabella, and 98 out in Mojave. So because of those high temperatures expected again tomorrow, the extensive heat warning has been uh, has been has been moved to 8 p.m. tomorrow night. It was supposed to end today at 8 p.m. So they have extended that excessive heat warning. And then we're going to see those upper 90s headed into the end of your week. So cooling down even more headed into the weekend as well. But we're looking at those triple digits returning on Tuesday. Those are some of the stories making headlines right now. For the very latest, be sure to visit us on turn to 23.com and download our 23 ABC mobile and tablet apps.